I've seen a little bit of Lucario from a, a tournament I commentated that uh, I Punch Kids was at. Um, now, a lot of his game was based on Aurasphere cancels and just throwing out all of the moves, pressing all of the buttons, uh, and covering you with a lot of pressure. Um, now, for one thing, this uh, Lucario player, whose name I still don't know, uh, He's showing a lot less technical prowess than I Punch Kids. I mean, that's not saying too much. But what that means is that uh, Oro can definitely navigate around the pressure uh, as he's showing. Nice dash dance. Uh, links a couple moves together, but isn't able to get the finishing one. Um, yeah, Oro is just kind of playing the spacing game here. Um... And I think that's a perfectly reasonable thing to do, considering that, for one, he has a ton of experience that this uh, Lucario player doesn't have. And also, just that he outranges Lucario. Um, Lucario kind of has to go in on him. So you throw out the hitboxes in the right places, uh, namely where Lucario wants to be next. Oof. That was probably punishable? Okay, noon. Um... That was probably punishable, but now the situation is passed and you don't know what I'm talking about. Oro taunts him with an up smash. It's some classic Taj stuff. Nice double up tilt. Does not call the uh, get up attack. Almost gets hit with a spirit bomb. Double down air to down tilt to up air to down air. Gets get up attacked again. Um, Oro's not respecting that get up attack much, so that's something Noon can probably abuse. Gets a forward tilt. Oh, nice stop by Oro. Good spacing. Wow. <laughs> At that percent, that move actually did quite enough to kill Oro. Um, but now Noon is way off stage. Oro not respecting the on-stage recovery at all. He's just standing there on the platform charging a neutral B. Noon gets in with a down air, but accidentally rolls and uh, isn't able to follow up. Lucky he didn't lose a stock for that, honestly. And Oro knew that he was going for the up B on stage instead of off stage because he's done that pretty much every time so far. I like that uh, pullback on the up B. That was a nice little trick. It didn't actually earn him anything, but um, I, g I give him like style points for it. Not even okay. It seems like he's having a lot of trouble grabbing ledge. Like I thought with Lucario you could just up B to the side, but apparently you have to curve it. So. Whenever uh, Noon is going off stage, I think Oro is just catching on to that and covering the onstage option at pretty much one spacing. So Noon finishes it off with a third hit side B. And he's going to get rid of Dreamland. Oh, pardon me. A distant planet. Um, not sure why he would want to get rid of Distant Planet. I think there are bigger stages, if that's what he's looking for. And there are also stages with more room to run. Don't see why... Blast Zones, I think, are medium? I don't know. We're going to Yoshi's story. Um, clearly, uh, Oro didn't really know what the Lucario wanted, stage-wise. <laughs> Banning basically the opposite stages, at least in terms of size. Um, so... I feel like Oro is going to be comfortable here just because he's got such an experienced melee Marth. And uh, he's going to just do Marth things only with Roy. Um, and unlike Marth, he has an aerial that'll kill you from that range. So, see what Noon can string together here. I haven't been overly impressed with this punish game so far. It's tended to result in him getting 20% and then maybe like rolling on accident. So, he's going to have to tighten that up if he wants to stand a chance against Oro here. Nice neutral air, if that is what the spinny kick is. I don't even know what the spinny kick is called. Um, and Oro goes way off stage for the edge guard and then doesn't expect Lucario can get as far on stage as he can. Throws out a whiffed move and uh, gets KO'd for that. Gets an up air, up air... Back air, down tilt, and uh, Noon threads the needle between Randall and the stage. It's unfortunate. 
Gets in on Oro's shield, isn't able to punish any further because Oro goes off stage. Um, blows a charge on a spirit bomb that once again doesn't hit anything. Uh, it, Oro is showing a healthy level of respect for that move. Oro gets in with a nice forward air and he's just putting a ton of pressure on. Misses up a, a pivot grab, but then gets a grab anyway. Good up air, up air, up air. Oh my god, that was five aerials in a row. And finishes him off with a... F well, doesn't quite finish him off. Finishes him off with the forward smash after the forward air. So Oro, a clean 2-0 win over Noon.